welcome, welcome to the Best 5-Minute Wine Podcast. I'm your host, Forrest Kelly. From the seed to the glass, wine has a past. Our aim at the Best 5-Minute Wine Podcast is to look for adventure at wineries around the globe. After all, great minds think alike. Let's start the adventure. Our featured winery is... You know, as you go to the grocery store when you get older and you know exactly what you want, it makes buying food for dinner so much easier. But when it comes to wine, do you ever find yourself walking into the wine store and going, wow, what do I do? Well, in this episode, we talk to the man who's on a mission to reimagine your relationship with wine and hospitality, and then he's going to merge that into a personalized wine education and e-commerce all in one spot. Let's meet our guest. Hi, this is Vito Larade. I'm the CEO of Wine Cork. Okay, Vito, I see here where you were raised in the South. Are we talking Georgia, Louisiana? <laughs> Close. Okay. So I'm originally from a little town in Southern Italy called Martina Franca, as in Puglia. It's like the heel of the boot. I come from a small town in Idaho, and that was, uh, I think the population when I graduated high school was about 18,000. So that's, that's kind of my ballpark of small town. How big is your town? 40,000 people. So a little bigger than that, but still very small. 40,000. What is that getting you as far as commerce and industry? And You don't get much. I mean, it's very different. Just a way. We don't have really big cities like here in America. So you get everything you need, but it's mostly family owned. So where I grew up, there was no McDonald's, no Shake Shack. Uh, so it's all local family owned shops. So if you wanted to go you know, the McDonald's, you had to drive at least an hour away. It's fantastic. I, I, I actually love it more. I mean, in my mind, I'm picturing um, your small town and I'm just picturing mountains everywhere, a lot of dirt roads and a lot of vineyards and things. But what visually, when you reflect back to that time, what do you see? My hometown is up on a hill. So we actually, from where I'm from, you can see a vessel. So it's a valley. So you do see vineyards, actually. Okay. Uh, it's called Valle Ditria a place where a lot of winemakers just just located there because it's just like perfect environment 30 minutes away from the beach it's 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 gorgeous if you've never been i highly recommend going to how big is wine in your growing in your upbringing you know we see in the movies and things that they drink it like we drink milk here in america so is that the way it is or is that just a myth yeah no that's actually it is so growing up i you know, love playing soccer. Um, and I thought that I'd make that my job. Um, soccer is as big as wine is, even bigger. It's like our religion. Food, wine, and hospitality are our way of life. So I would say it's in my blood. I mean, you know, it's always on the table. Just a way that we connect is through food and wine. So it's no shock that that's shaped my life path. What was your uh, family dynamic? Uh, brothers and sisters? I have a sister. I just have an older sister. Uh, your mom and dad, what what industries were they into? Yeah, so my dad was in retail. Um, so he, he, he worked in sales. So he was working, he worked for a company that manufactured suits. Um, <laughs> I was suits. just going to say, so, he did not manufacture suits. Work in the the tailoring industry. The uh, he had, So he had some sartorial eloquence, I'm, get, I'm gathering. Yeah, he was, a, he was a salesman. That's kind of where I got it from. Um, yeah, he was a great salesman. Oh, if your dad was in sales, selling suits, I I can only imagine some of the stories that you've got to tell because I I imagine he was uh, very charismatic. Can you share a a story that you remember? It was a summer, it's a hot summer day. And, you know, we had a little kind of like terrace in our apartment. He would park his car and we could see him and we were waiting for him to get lunch. And he was just having a conversation with with a guy. Um, (laughs) And and, and my mom was getting mad. I was like, what are you doing? What is he doing? We're waiting for him to lunch because that's what we do. We wait for everybody to get lunch. And so he came home and she was mad. And he was like, he was like, hey, just calm down. We were just talking. We were having a conversation. And then at the end. He has sold him a suit. And, and, <laughs> yeah. and so I was like, this is a Sunday afternoon. It's July. It's hot out. And, <laughs> and, and that's just what it is. In our next episode, we find out how Vito went from that small town in southern Italy to New York as we continue our conversation with the founder of winecork.com. Thank you for listening. I'm Forrest Kelly. This episode of the Best 5-Minute Wine Podcast was produced by... I his. If you like the show, please tell your friends and pets and subscribe. Until next time, pour the wine and ponder your next adventure. <laughs>